over in America to pay tribute to Queen Elizabeth. And so I'm a royal fan too. I know many Americans are royal fans. And I just want to take this time to put tributes to her on both my channels, my political channel and my general channel this week. As she is the, a legend, an icon. She is someone who is going to be remembered like, <laughs> like Marilyn Monroe and Elvis, an iconic person. I was thinking about this and I was thinking, you know, they have awards for like Woman of the Year, Man of the Year, Lifetime Achievement Awards. Oh my goodness, what a lifetime the Queen has had. So I would say she is not only like Woman of the Year, Woman of the Century, perhaps Woman of the Millennium, or even the woman of, a, a strong contender for Woman of All Time. And it's just, it's pretty amazing. And like I said, here she was never thought she was going to be Queen, and it happened. And then look how many records she broke and how many years of service she has given to the world. And it, her service and dedication reminds me of, of a Bible verse. The one of what he that would be ruler of all must first be servant of all. And um, I mean, her station gave her, gave her the position of ruler of all, but she also first sought to be a servant of all. And that's what makes her so beloved and so special to the entire world. The entire world. Like I said, I know I like to talk about the fact that back in 2020, I wrote, I sent the Queen a card, and then she wrote back to me, and I shared about that in a video, and I thought that was very sweet, and it was a personal message too, and I'm, I'm just some little random American, nobody famous, nobody special, and here she took the time to write a friendly little note back to me. So I will always treasure it, and I've pressed it between the pages of my Bible, and yes made me a double, triple royal fan, more so than I was before. And um, I said, getting a letter, a personal letter from the Queen was better than getting a letter from a movie star. And I was thinking that my other, my other hero uh, is Sarah Bernhardt. I'm an actress. So I admire Sarah Bernhardt. But I would say, you know, the Queen is even of much higher status than even Sarah Bernhardt. Because, I mean, the Queen, she is a figure of state, a, a world figure. I mean, of course, she didn't, um, I said, make so much policy or, you know, make laws and things, but she was just a, like I said, a steady hand. She was a very good ambassador for the UK, and she was just very steady and good and kind, and, you know, she played her role to perfection. To perfection, for sure, and um, and I do believe that King Charles will do a nice job. Everyone is saying how well he's doing starting off, and I I trust the judgment of Nigel Farage and Lady C. And <clears throat> yes, we believe that that Charles wants to to do well and carry on the family traditions. I mean, he probably will not be maybe as beloved as the Queen because she was with us for so many years, but. Um, he will work hard to, to do right by everyone and try to be a good king and be steady. So, so I think, I think we'll be okay. And the, the people who are saying, you know, the monarchy should just be dissolved. I mean, I mean, especially Americans. I mean, I don't think they quite understand the attachment that everyone, the people in the UK have towards, towards the monarchy. And as I said, it's not like it's, you know, gone wild. It's, it's, it really helps in tourism. Just, I was reading today about how all these, the gift shops are selling out memorabilia of the Queen, and just imagine how many stores are selling out. I mean, the uh, royal family really brings a lot of <laughs> tourist, tourist attraction and tourist um, income into the nation. So I think it's, it's a very wonderful and unique um, institution that I could, that Britain has managed to cling to throughout these years, and. It's something special. Like I said, it's something out of history, and it's also a little bit out of the fairy tale, too. So, so this is just one of my videos to pay tribute to Queen Elizabeth.
Thank you for watching.